Thomas's day off. One day on Sodor, Gordon was handing out the jobs for the day. All the engines got one, except Thomas. You have the day off to have an adventure, said Gordon to Thomas. At first, Thomas was thrilled. He raced to the super duper loop the looper and went around and around. After a while, he began to get bored. There was no one around to have fun with. He bumped into an old boxcar and decided it could be his imaginary friend. I'll call you Boxy, smiled Thomas. Next, Thomas and Boxy found an old beach ball. It's the Orb of Destiny, said Thomas. The beach ball bounced away down the tracks and Thomas chased after it. We are brave knights and we must return the orb to the Fairy Queen, said Thomas as he and Boxy chased the beach ball. The ball reached Brendan Docks and bounced into the sea. Luckily, Cranky lifted Thomas and Boxy onto Bullstrode so they could chase after the ball. They soon had it back on land. Thomas carried on chasing the ball all over Sodor, playing the fun imaginary game as he went. Even though he was on his own, he was having fun. Eventually, the ball bounced into a tree. Well, Boxy, it looks like the orb outsmarted us, sighed Thomas, letting out a big puff of steam. The steam wobbled the ball in the tree. Or maybe not. For the Fairy Queen, shouted Thomas, as he let out a big puff. The ball bounced into Boxy. Nice catch, Boxy, grinned Thomas. He set off to the engine sheds to show everyone the fun game he was playing. At first, the engines were confused, but they soon joined in the fun. The Orb of Destiny is magic treasure, said Percy. Yes, magic treasure, we have to return to the Fairy Queen, said Thomas as he gave Karna the beach ball. Thank you, Knight Thomas, smiled Karna. A gust of wind blew the ball away, and this time, all the engines chased after it together. Now let's try and answer a few questions about the story you just heard. Question 1. Which engine had no jobs to do? Was it Diesel? Or was it Thomas? Yes, that's right. Thomas had no jobs to do because Thomas was given a day off. Question 2. What sort of vehicle is Boxy? Was Boxy a box car? Or was Boxy a truck? Well done. Boxy was a box car. Question 3. Where did the orb get stuck? Did it get stuck in a tree? Or did it get stuck on a water tower? Yes, the orb got stuck in a tree, but luckily Thomas was able to get it back with a big puff of steam. Here's Thomas enjoying the colorful carnival in Brazil. These two pictures are very similar, but there's actually six differences between them. Can you find all six differences in 30 seconds? Don't worry if you need more time, just pause the video here. How many differences did you manage to spot? Good! Now it's time for the next story, and there's a new arrival on the island of Sodor. First day on Sodor. 
Early one morning, Nia was at the docks waiting to collect a very special new engine. Wow, this is the first time I've ever seen a vehicle like you, said Nia in astonishment. The vehicle she was looking at was Darcy, a tunnel boring machine. And it's the first time I've been to Sodor, smiled Darcy as Cranky placed her on Nia's flatbed. What is it you do? asked Nia. I dig tunnels, replied Darcy excitedly. Darcy was nervous and excited to be on Sodor. Don't worry, everyone is friendly, said Nia. Darcy was so pleased to hear that, she waved her drill around and nearly scratched James. Watch it, shouted James. The rest of the Sodor construction company were confused when they saw Darcy. They didn't think they needed a tunnel boring machine. Alfie and Oliver thought they could drill any tunnels with their jackhammers, but the ground was too hard for them. Darcy was keen to help. I can show you how I drill it if you like, said Darcy. She waved her drill around and accidentally smashed some crates by mistake. This isn't what I wanted my first day to be like, said Darcy sadly. She felt like she wasn't wanted by anyone on Sodor. Alfie and Oliver kept trying to drill the tunnel, but they couldn't manage it. Finally, it was Darcy's turn to show everyone what she could do. Aim and drill, shouted Darcy as she tunnelled into the rock. The other vehicles were amazed by her tunnelling. You, you were, were awesome. awesome, smiled Alfie and Oliver. Nia was right, you are really friendly, said Darcy. She was very happy to be on Sodor. Night night. If you liked what you heard, please consider leaving a like as well as commenting and subscribing. See you all again soon. Bye bye.